All right, a good Tuesday evening out there, everybody. We've had all sunshine all day long. Blue skies aplenty, a little bit cooler today after a high yesterday in Grand Rapids of 79 degrees. Our max temperature today, 70. I didn't look at that climatology report that uh, just came out. Perhaps we did make it to 71 locally, so I'll have to check in on that. Kalamazoo, though, has been sitting at 74. Nonetheless, uh, a picturesque morning and afternoon as we expected. Here's the look out into the waters of Lake Michigan from different perspectives. Pier Marquette, Muskegon. South Haven and Holland waves non-existent today between zero and one foot. I think it generally the same type of a pattern for tomorrow as well. 68 degrees there at seven o'clock. We're dropping back through the 60s into the upper 50s by 11 o'clock tonight. And we'll continue that fall off into tomorrow morning when uh, I think we're down to about 50 degrees to start the day on Wednesday. Now, unlimited Wednesday sunshine. Once again, we talked about this yesterday. I didn't think a cloud in the sky today. I don't think for tomorrow, probably Thursday. Uh, perhaps uh, some high cirrus, very thin clouds around by Friday, but uh, really very nice weather conditions to persist going forward here. Warmer temps arriving as well. Today's 70, 71 in GR to be replaced with about uh, 76 or 77 degree max temp tomorrow. And then a few showers perhaps coming in a little bit earlier now than uh, shown previously. So there may be a few showers around by later on Saturday and into Sunday. Not an all weekend rain out. You don't have to worry about that, but something to keep our eyes on. More on that in just a few moments. Temps right now, upper 60s at their coolest and lower half of the 70s at their warmest depending upon where you are at. You see generally the wind direction out of the north and the east or just a plain east direction along the immediate shoreline, but very light, about uh, four to seven or eight miles per hour, something like that. Temperature trend over the next several days. Here we are in the mid to upper 70s through Friday and Saturday and then dropping off a bit early next week with more clouds and some of these scattered showers from late Saturday into perhaps Sunday and Monday. Still some differences in the models on how that's going to turn out early next week. I do believe it is going to get cooler, but uh, rain prospects, how widespread that would be, whether or not we're even wet at all, that still remains uh, to be seen and ironed out. High pressure nearby to our northwest that will settle more so overhead for this overnight, keeping winds very light. That a contributing factor with clear skies and a dry air mass to see the mercury dip down with radiational cooling. And that's why we look to drop to about uh, 49 or 50 to open up uh, what uh, will be Wednesday morning. Here's this area of high pressure coming atop us here in this overnight. This is tomorrow afternoon and that high pressure so close nearby that we're just not going to have much of a wind field around here. Our proximity to that high and its clockwise rotation around it will start to deliver a few south and southwest winds there through the afternoon on Wednesday. Notice the cloud pattern out to our west. It's going to remain there, I do believe, through Wednesday, Thursday, and then on into Friday, probably a few more of these clouds starting to drift in. But uh, nothing in terms of any appreciable rainfall doesn't look like until some of that does make it in here, as I say, perhaps as early as later in the day on Saturday. But it wouldn't be until then. Doug, Janice, here we go. Pretty much the same song and dance I was spelling out for you yesterday. Beautiful weather through at least a part of Saturday. Then that shower chance returns with cooler temps early next week. All right. Thank you, Dad. Anthony will fall just starting.